And there we go. Sorry for the um, delay. early delay. Yep. And an early lay in by A.J. Thomas. I'm Dylan Richard along with my colleague Anthony Santucci. We've got our first playoff matchup of the year. Grays Lake North Knights versus the St. Patrick Shamrocks. Shamrocks starting off the game in a one through one. Janikowski, Grays Lake. Kirpin, skip pass to Donahue. Donahue, stolen by Ayeni. Ayeni. Oh, good move. Gets the layer to fall. Four, nothing, Shamrocks. Great start for the Shamrocks. We got Janikowski and Hunt up top. Janikowski. Receives it from Donahue. He's going to pull one. A big three ball. Can't give them those threes. Shamrock's, three time. Shamrock's having a tough time defending the three-point arc this season. Yeah. Opponents shooting 53%. I mean, that's real high for high school. I mean, <laughs> our, statistician, our statistician, Miss O'Sullivan, gave us those. Krolak puts it up, misses, puts up his own rebound, misses. Ayeni gets the rebound. Gets fouled in the shot. I mean, if you're shooting 53% from three, that's like Hall of Fame. Like, it, that's not even. That's like insane. Uh, Miss O'Sullivan might have been a little bit. I don't know. Tired, intoxicated. We don't know when she got those stats. Yeah. She might have just uh, recorded the Kennedy game or some. Who knows? Bennett. In the back of the student section, that's a big freshman. <laughs> I any Hank. <laughs> any free throw up and good. Wannabe Alex Morocco finally arrives late to the game. Free throw up, no good. Rebound. Thomas resets to Breland. It's going to pull a long three. No good. Ayeni tips it. Rebound. Breland. Thomas driving on his left. He's got Kick to Ayeni. Krolak. Breland. I think Breland can start off hot. He didn't hit a lot of threes this playoff run. Yeah, he's going to be a big impact player. Ayeni, good there it dribble. Is. Good move, the razzle dazzle and the bucket. Great start for Uncle Drew. He's got four. Three pointer. It's good. Oh, it's three guy close out better. Jack Kirpin. They tend to give up a lot of corner threes now, one three one. Anthony, could you name any alumni of Grays Lake North? No. I've got one for you. Tyler Ninja Blevins. Oh, Jesus. I knew, I knew he grew up in Illinois, but... Breland gets an offensive board. Lays it in. Tyler Blevins, a professional gamer. Hunt passing it around. Gives it to the big man, Mitrovic. A big three-pointer again. Oh, another three ball. Ties the game up. Sorry for the interruption. Again, mistake by our producer, Andrew Kosmak. We apologize. Kosmak gets a slippery slope. It's contract time around this year. Free agency. It's looking like the move. I mean, we need to cut dead cap weight, free up some space after that big extension for Russell Matthews. I mean, Zach might be a, a cut option. Zach Hartwig, showed up. Zach Hartwig was the first to go. Alex Marco announcing his retirement early on in the season. Wasn't what we were expecting. The Knights are looking to get on top. In the corner to Mitrovic. Shamrocks with a two-point lead. Bad pass. And thrown around. He's got Ayeni. That was a quarterback. Pass. Hand off 
to RJ. The big man Drew, the off and under. Freshman gets his first ever playoff points. Nice little up and under there from RJ. Shamrock defense has been playing well this season. I mean, they haven't given up too many big numbers except Ooh, that game against Bennett. Pulls out. Prolac, Ayeni. Now with Breland. Clay. Into Krolak, who fades away, gets it. His first of the game. Beautiful shot. Great early start for the Shamrocks, already with 15 points. Mitrovic in the corner. Now with Janikowski. Bad pass. Kirpin ends up getting it. Janikowski lost it. Donahue blocked by Breland. Add that to the highlight reel. Breland, hand off Clay, lost it, gets it back. Now with Breland, That's who's really going to pull a three. Ooh, a little off right. He let Good them, shot, though. Great yeah, shot action, yeah. He let the momentum get to him, just got that big block. Almost an end-to-end -end heat check, you'd call it. We're going to look at a three. Donahue up top. Donahue driving, kick to Mitrovic. And Coach Bailey turned on the music. I don't know what he's doing. Not Coach Bailey. <laughs> Coach Zagrati. <laughs> Donahue. Be a little odd if Coach Bailey's turned on the music on that side. Nice board there by Krolak. Breland looking for another three. Breland pump fake drives in. Now with Krolak. Breland now to Ayeni. Through the legs. Looking to kick. He does. Pump fake, dribble step down to the big man RJ. Travels. Ooh. Bavia and Thomas checking in for the Shamrocks. Number three, Cameron Bates checking in for Grays Lake North. We usually don't see Bavia this early in the game, but it's a bit of a surprise. Janikowski with that on his left hand, pass to Kirpin. Kirpin. Takes a hop, bad pass for Shamrocks. Easy breakaway layup for Krolak. Donahue, Kirpin. Now in the corner to Bates. Mid-range, no good, rebound to RJ. Krolak bringing up that left side, now Thomas. Ooh, head shot. Thomas, Ayeni, Krolak for three, no good. RJ was in possession, couldn't get it to it. Tough rebound there. He's working hard. Nice to see from a freshman. Kirpin. Now Janikowski. Spin move. Throws it up. Gets fouled by RJ. It's a good call. Happy Ash Wednesday to everyone celebrating. Student section theme is blackout because of Ash Wednesday. It doesn't look like. I mean, we've got Passant in an orange t-shirt. JT in his green quarter zip. I don't know, some freshman in a red Bulls jacket. I mean, besides the fact that we have 20 kids in the student section. Yeah, great job. Great job, everyone. Stud section leader Alex Morocco not doing a very good job getting kids to show up. Free throw, first one no good, second one is good. Jankowski. Krolak and Ayeni parallel to each other. Now Ayeni's going to go to the free throw line. Post up, he's going to rotate through instead. Ayeni, left hand, gives there it to Krolak. Three-pointer, uh, it's good. Uh, Krolak set his feet, great shot. Krolak has been hot from the three-point arc. Last couple games. Steal by the Shamrocks. Kicked out of bounds by Jankowski. Like I said, it's nice to see Krolak hitting threes. It's a great help. Shamrock offense. Krolak now gives it to Ayeni. Fabio in the corner. Going to pull a three. No good. Down low, Anthony Anderson undersized there. Couldn't get it over the big man, Mitrovic. Jankowski with it. Gives it to Bates. Bates, bounce pass. 
Jankowski, Dimitrovic in the corner. Dimitrovic swings, Jankowski, Donahue. Good defense by the Shamrocks. Panted, 1-3-1, one, one. it's been working all year. Down to Jankowski, Donahue. This is for sure the last possession for Grays Lake, first quarter. Jankowski slipping. High pass to Bates. He fields it. Oh, that's off Donahue. Oh, it's if there was a off. shot clock, it would have went off like about a minute ago. Yeah, it's called off Anthony Anderson. It's going to remain Grays Lake ball. Shamrocks, early 10-point lead. Defensive coach is looking on from the upper deck. Thomas. Breland. Gets caught up a little high in Dimitrovic. Out to Jankowski for three. No good. That's close up by Anderson. Grays Lake has only hit three pointers from the field. They've hit three of them and a, and a free throw. That's it. They can't get in that interior against the Shamrocks. Six seconds with Thomas. Anderson. Krolak. Yeah, Breland is. wide open. He's got to go. Ooh. No good. Anderson put back at the buzzer. Oh. No good. Shamrocks up. 10 points going into the second. Great start. Quarter. We'll be back after a short break. St. Pat's has been doing a very good job of um, celebrating Black History Month the right way. A couple weeks ago, we went to Mr. Tate's speech, talked all about his life growing up in the music industry. A couple Yesterday days ago, we had, uh, what was his name? Um, Patrick Josephs, class Patrick of 90. Josephs, yes. he, uh, he talked about how he's a sergeant, how his race didn't affect his goals. It was a great speech. They had cookies and hot chocolate. It was awesome. The freshman. And a travel early. Shamrock ball. Forced turnover by Nano. Great defense. Nato Taro still got the warm up on. It's it's a little worrying to me, to be honest. Might not see him much this playoffs after that rough injury he suffered. Thomas three pointer, no good. RJ goes up, gets the board, stripped by Bates. Bates is pushing. Bates, Jankowski in the corner. Back out to Bates. Driving. Tries to kick. He couldn't. Another steal. Breland. You got Nano. Crossover. Thomas. Nano. Wasn't the best pass. Thomas going to reset it up top. Hopefully they can find Breland. The Knights are in a 3-2 questionable offense. There it is. Uh, questionable offensive set from the Shamrocks attacking the 3-2. Oh, short. Good shot again by Breland. Got to get going. Shamrocks get most of their points on fast breaks. Would you say that's not? Yeah. That's a my analysis. Steals. Yeah. They got to play fast. Small ball, you'd say. Don't have too much size this year. Losing to Maris Brown, Serge Garcia. Yep. Three ball. Hunt hits the top. No good. He was out of bounds. It's a hard breaker. Krolak. And Brendan Hecker checking in for the Shamrocks. For the first time. We've seen a lot of them in the first half of the season before RJ got called up. And then when RJ got called up, haven't really seen much of Hecker. The Shamrock fans are chanting, we want Otero. You'll love to see it. Krolak crosses the Shamrock, gives it to Ayeni. He sets a screen. 
Thomas in the corner. Bounce pass down low to Hacker. Now to Ayeni. There it is. Out to Breland. One more to Krolak. Oh. Great offensive set. Breland's going to pull a three. Good shots. Gets it to fall. Like I got to say, he's got to get going. First three of the game. Jano. Thomas kickball. Donahue going to inbound it to Hunt. Haven't called his name much tonight. Hunt, Janikowski, Another turnover. turnover. It's bad offense from Gray's Lake. Kolak with a little push off there. Gives it to Thomas Ooh. instead. In and out, there. rebound to Yeni, and they wow. got foul. I think it was the angle of the ref. Couldn't see. Other refs got to make that call, though. Hunt, stolen Another by Thomas. Steal. That's nine turnovers. For any college coaches watching our broadcast by chance, if you're looking for a hard-working player, A.J. Thomas is your man. For sure. Morgan gets it, gives it into Bates down low. Jankowski for three, no good. Rebound Donahue. Not sure that foul's on. Uh, referee says, my time. Oh, we got a man down in that left side corner. If you can't see, it's Breland. Ooh, that's worrisome for the Shamrocks. Coach Bailey, the trainer, going to go over and check on him. We'll be back after a break. Bruin, standing ovation, still getting looked at over on that sideline. Say a prayer, all you Shamrock families. He's going to be oh, crucial wow. if the team wants to make a state run. That one looked like it was off Bates. Bad call. It's going to stay Knights ball. Bates gets it off the inbound. And, Anthony, that's what you call ball don't lie. Ten turnovers for Grays Lake North. Bad. Favia checked in for Breland. One for one from three-point land. Favia. Dangerous pass. Now with Thomas. Thomas. Krolak. Krolak tells Favia to rotate through. Thomas inbound. We have Favia cross court. Fabia wide open. Pump fake. Step back. Passes it. Krolak is turn. It's good. Knocked Krolak down. is really hitting the three lately. Bada bing, bada boom. Jankowski gives it in the corner. Mitrovic for three. Short. Rebound. Finally, the Knights get a point in the Shamrock's interior. It's a first bucket in the second quarter. Ianni, Thomas, now Krolak. Krolak's feeling it. Two for three from three-point land. <laughs> Ianni might have gotten fouled there on going up. Favia, Thomas, Ianni. Driving back in. Hecker. The big man. Oh, he missed it. Oh, tough lay-in. Jankowski, Donahue. Jankowski. Now Mitrovic. Bates for three. No good. Rebound Ayeni. Mitrovic ran into Janikowski's own man. Thomas drives. Oh, almost fouled on the shot.
We're going to have to see a lot more of Fabio if Breland's out. Not a good sign for the Shamrocks. Thomas, free throw, no good. Thomas only 67% from the lines, not what you want to see. Shout out Mr. Sullivan for the stats. Thomas, second free throw. It's good. Shamrock showing a diamond press. Ianey pokes one away, it's gonna stay Knight's ball. So, earlier today, Anthony and I, we had a discussion. What sport takes more skill to be good at? I say golf is a significantly harder sport than baseball. Baseball, it's, it's um, I'd, I'd say it's just much easier, Anthony. Tell the fans your input as I make sense. Like the average person hitting a 90 mile hour fastball is the hardest thing to do in any sport. See, I think hitting a par three green from 170 yards out is the hardest thing to do in any sport. I foul, get that, but foul down low on the big man, RJ. But Aaron Rodgers can go play golf as a side sport, but he can't go play baseball. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Aaron Rodgers has been playing golf for years. Okay, but if he tried playing baseball, it'd be brutal. I could say the same thing about uh, let's any baseball player. Not uh, really. I mean, if Mike Trout wants to go play golf, he'd easily jack it on the green. <laughs> That's a big block by RJ. Get that out of here. The big man's really doing well. Something I just noticed, the big man for Grays Lake North, Uros Mitrovic, is also a freshman. So we've got a matchup for the ages, you could say. Jankowski. Kicks, three from Kirpin, no good. Ianey pushing, Thomas Aww. a little behind him. It's going to be Knight's ball. Ianey probably thought Thomas was going to the corner there. He would have had the wide open three. He got two minutes, 51 seconds to go in the half. Hopefully end off strong here. Up 19, good sign. Hunt, Jankowski. Now Mitrovic, one for one from three-point land. Gives it in. They got a foul on Thomas. The pass was intended for Hunt. Nano checking in for Clay. Yeah, you can see unzipped over on that sideline is Nano Taro's pants, revealing his knee brace. Inbound yeah, the Kirpin. The reason why he's not getting much time is because of that injury. Kirpin, now Donahue. See if Grizzly can get something going offensively. Well, you got to show a little praise for Coach Bailey. Not risking a little bows. College offers a three from Jankowski. They've really been only hitting threes. It's their fourth three of the yeah. game. Four three, 12 of their 15 coming from deep. Thomas drives. Good move. Lays it in. Great up and under. Hunt pushing. They had numbers. Now it's five on five. Tip from Thomas. Ayeni steals it two on one. Hand down, man down. As oh. Thomas lays it in. Call a little weird, Thomas. Donahue kicks to Hunt. Donahue gets Another the back steal. tap. Kolak lays it in. That's a 13th turnover of the half. 22 point lead. Hunt, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, oh. tip from Mitrovic to Kirpin. It's going to be Knight's ball. Coach Bailey over on that sideline, coming off to give big man RJ a high five. 22-point game. Donahue is going to jack one up. No good, rebound RJ. RJ is going to give it to Kolak. RJ, cutter! Getting oh, some work. A dime from Kolak. 24 point lead. Wow. It's the kind of basketball you'd expect a home playoff game. Shamrock's our favorite here. Now pays to score 80. Good math there. Good math there. Miss Fiorante taught you well. Ready to know. 
So going back to the golf baseball discussion, I just I don't think you realize how hard it I is. I understand, but I don't think you realize how hard it is for an average person to hit a 90 mile half fastball, let alone 85, even 80. Like the average person, like you know what I'm saying? In game situation, if, like, if someone happen. faced 10 fastballs with off speed too, like you're not including that, like you're not expecting it, you know? If they face 20, okay, 10 pitches, I think they're gonna make contact or foul one off at least once. No, at so at you don't get once. that. No. No, I do get that. I'm not play like, baseball. You, okay, but if you went up to the plate 90 mile hour fastball, you're not touching. Like 10 pitches right down, like you're not touching it. You might foul it off, but like that's not putting it in play or anything. I genuinely think the average person. I don't know if you could hit the ball 150 yards in golf. I don't think you could. Well, I've also never like picked up a golf club, so I, I don't know what to tell you. But I'm talking about the average person. Like, let's say not me or you. We're talking about the average person here. Like just the average athlete. Not even an athlete, just the average person. If I had a year to train for both, I could get better at baseball than I would at golf. Golf takes years no. of practice. See, it's the same with baseball. It don't make sense. Hunt slips, almost turns it over. Kolak fouls Kirpin. You know, maybe Declan O'Malley gets into this game. Like, let's say Mike Chow, for example. He's a, right. he has a better chance to be good at golf than Tiger Woods has of being good at baseball. I'd say that that's, that's true because Tiger Woods is like 42. Steel. Okay. Jemox pushing that's Thomas. Left-hand layup. 26-point game. Hunt gets it from Kirpin. Jankowski, Kirpin. Thought about a deep three-pointer for a second. Son, you do not have that range. Hunt, mid-range, from the stripe, no good. Rebound, RJ. We'll wait to the last shot. The Shamrock mentality. Don't want to give him another chance. Kovac. 10 seconds. Into Ayeni. Nano. He's cutting around. He's open. Miami takes the shot. Kroak puts up oh. a last second shot. No good. Shamrock's lead. 41-15. Going into the starts. half. We'll be back after halftime.
Podcast. I'm your host of the Halftime Show, Liam Sawchuk, always joined by... Uh, Alex Morocco. We've had a little trouble up here in the booth. You we know. have been having a little trouble. Dylan's a little upset we get better reviews and ratings than him. A little debate if we're on or not. But we are here, and so are the Shamrocks. Absolute domination today. Incredible showing by all the boys. Especially that freshman, RJ. Especially that freshman, RJ. Love that man. Alex is a little down in his dumps, but... uh. No, oh, yeah, no. When you look at the Shamrocks, you can't help but smile. Yeah, they, they really do bring a smile to your face. There's some great guys out here. Um, but um, the other team, it's it's a little sad almost. No, yeah, it's kind of Psych! depressing. The boys are dominating. Kind of depressing. Never felt better. 15 points put up in the first half. This might be the lowest scoring game I've been to all year. Even Jones be. scored more points than this team. Yeah. This, this is utterly It's a beautiful performance by the Shamrocks. Disgusting. And um, next half, I'm expecting a couple, of the, a couple of the boys to get in there that don't usually get in there. I'm expecting a little Shea Butter action. Oh, Shea Butter. A little Debo action. A little, little Declan action. Who knows? That's it. Yeah. The real announcers are back. Sorry that you guys had to hear that disaster for about a minute and a half. For the 10 minutes of halftime, we were arguing with our producer for about eight of them. I, Annie, and our statistician. Who's our statistician? Oh, Miss Sil Sullivan. Shamrocks, 26 point lead going into the half. Looking to just close this one out. Tipped, and pro ball. and wide open. Oh. No good. Rebound, I, Annie. Back to Krolak. Kick to Ayeni. Nano. Thomas. Ayeni Shamrock's moving the ball. Yeah, well. Nano. Krolak, deep three. No good. Testing his range there. It's going to be Shamrock ball. It's a good shot by Krolak. I mean, he's hot. Ayeni gets the inbound. And a basket, 28 point lead. Way to be physical. Hunt, now to Jankowski. Back to Hunt. Thomas pressing high. Krolak tried to force a bad pass. Instead, it's into Jankowski, Ooh, this is a wide open Smoky. Krolak. And on the other side. Ready, three ball, no good. Rebound, Mitrovic. Now, Kat Kirpin drives mid-range, blocked. Says he got fouled. I don't think he did. Ayeni, Krolak, Nano, Thomas. Spreading the ball around like some butter on a warm piece of toast. It looks like it looks like Breland is back on the bench. I don't think you'll see the floor the rest of the game, though. Yeah, but he's still being checked out by that trainer. Air, Air ball, ball from Miami. Donahue bring it up the right side. Bounce pass Hunt. I mean, at this point, you just got to start jacking up some shots. Like, yeah, you can't I mean, be wasting time like this. Hunt, three ball, exactly what he does. That's the day I get started. It's the only way they're going to get back into this one. Krolak. Gives it up top to AJ. Thomas to Ayeni. Now Krolak into the big man RJ. Ooh, lost lost it. it on his post move. Kirpin running. Good layup. 
23 point lead. Really making a dent in this one. Krolak, Thomas. Into Krolak, Nano, Ayeni. Good dribble move. Might have traveled, didn't call it. 25 point game. It might have, it might have gotten tipped by Mirkovic. Yeah, and that, that could have been the thinking of the refs. Yep. Hunt drives in, open lane. Might have gotten fouled there. I, <laughs> body all over him. <laughs> Comes back the other way. Krolak big man. into RJ, a bucket. He has a lot of confidence. You know, RJ could be the piece this team really needed all season. Oh yeah, I mean, he's a, some size that they really needed. Mitrovic had it, got tipped by Nano, stays Knight's ball. What's it, Nito Terro? Nito Terro. Fans are going crazy with those chants. Otero, seen his first minutes since that short stint on senior night. Jankowski drives, throws one up. No good. Number one, Donahue. Oh, Bo gets the layup. Donahue, Otero on Grace Lake North is a senior. Stolen by Krolak. Oh, missed the layup. Stay Shamrock ball. Jankowski, a senior. Jack Kirpin, a senior. Jaden Hunt, he's a sophomore. This is going to be his last game. And Mitrovic, as we said earlier, the freshman. So a couple players on Grays Lake North trying to continue their high school basketball career, but it's looking grim as the Shamrocks possess a 29-point lead. Croak gives it to Ayeni. Now to Thomas for three. No Ooh, good. Short. Tipped by Krolak. Bates is going to end up with it. Bates, Dimitrovic. Bates sees Hunt. Fake pass. Dimitrovic in the corner for three. No good. Rebound. Finally grabbed by Krolak. Into Favia. Thomas. Krolak. Thought about it for a second there. Grays Lake's going to need a few three balls to fall down and get a couple stops to get, to get back into this one. Way to state the obvious. It's a 29-point deficit yeah. for Grays Lake. I really don't see any way of them getting back into this game. Have to be a Tom Brady Super Bowl comeback. There it is. Thomas extends the lead to 31. Wow. Donahue trapped up high, gives it to Hunt. Hunt to Donahue. Now at Jankowski. Gives it to Hunt. Now Donahue. Bob Gives Ryan it to Jankowski for three. Yes, sir. 15 out of their 23 points are three balls. I mean, Krolak, Ayeni, Thomas. Otero, hit it. Yes, sir. We love Otero. Donahue. Crowd is going nuts over that Otero three ball. They're chanting Nate the Great. Nate the Great. Nate truly embodies the kind of shamrock you'll see over on Austin and Belmont. As Kirpin receives the inbound, stolen by Clay. Clay, first points. Layup yep. and in. Shamrocks might start clearing the bench at the, the start of the fourth quarter. Mike Shea, I see his warm-up pants starting to come off over there. Might see some with Declan. Jankowski the other way, lays it in. Even D-Bone might see a few minutes. Ayeni rims around and falls in. Maybe we'll see some of Mike Malone. You know, Anthony, today, 1980, the USA hockey team pulled off the greatest upset of all time, Miracle on Ice. Will we see a miracle at Curlin Court? No. <laughs> That's the answer. No. no, you will not. Shamrocks ahead by 33. James Clay reaching there. No call. Going to give it to Morgan. Morgan, Donahue. 
Donahue looking. Finally bounce pass. Kirpin, Jankowski. That's an outstanding bounce pass. This little one hand gives it a little spin. As he knocks down one from about 15 feet. Ione, about a minute left in the third. Two sophomores looking to check in for the Shamrocks. As a timeout is called by Coach Bailey. He was getting a little worried there. The lead's only 33. Anthony, how was your dinner? How was the uh, ramen noodles that you couldn't figure out how to make, so you had to ask our moderator, Mr. O'Sullivan? It was decent. I mean, could add better. You know what I mean? The, um, the Thai soup was actually really good. Had some curry chicken. Solid. Seven out of ten. Now it's, uh, I understand it's Ash Wednesday and you're not supposed to eat meat. Anthony, you want to tell the fans at home what you had for lunch today? It's whatever. I had a lunch meat sandwich. I mean, I also had curry chicken for dinner, so, like, I already ruined it after my lunch meat sandwich. It's whatever. Anthony was trying to argue that lunch meat does not count as breaking your Lenten fast. I mean, I wasn't going to eat nothing. You could have just had Brad throwing a little bit of lettuce and cheese on there, called it a day. Maybe a fish fillet. <laughs> Kirpin. Donahue. Bates wide open calling for it. Doesn't get it. Instead, the other side of Jankowski. Kirpin. Now to Donahue. Jankowski for three. A lot of arc on that one. Way short as Bates goes up and gets fouled. So Anthony, what's your thought process? What was your thought process? I already broke my Lenten fast. It doesn't matter anymore when you had that chicken curry. I mean, I'll try to redo it. You know, I don't think it's possible. But the we'll Google Fridays without meat. I think that's like a in the booth day. We're gonna order a big pizza. Or maybe we'll go the healthy route. I mean, I might shed like a few. You said I throw some lettuce and cheese on a piece, slice of bread. <laughs> might shed a few tears as Friday's sectional championship, no, regional championship, 7 p.m., will be our last game streamed at Curlin Court. Yep. Last game announcing. Going to have to say goodbye until next year's football season. And it will be 100% the last game announcing. I mean, when we go down to the state, make a trip down there, get a free hotel. Exactly. I mean, even might even catch a section of final. Who knows? Like, we'll see. It all depends how willing Missile Sullivan is to drive us in the big bus. Anderson, free throw up and good. I like to see these underclassmen playing very well lately. Free throw up. No good. Rebound. Number 25, Morgan. Looking for one last shot. Pushed up to Bates. Bates lost it. Donahue gets it. Almost another turn. Bates gets it again. A three-pointer. Short. Bates gets it again. Floater. No good. As Shamrocks are going to the fourth quarter. Leading 61-29. We'll be back after a break.
We are back. Shamrocks leading by 32. 7.50 and ticking. Jankowski receives a shaky pass from Donahue. See if Grizzly could break the 30 mark. Number 12, Brock Terry checking in for the Knights for the first time this game. He's a senior, getting him some minutes. <laughs> Another air ball from Kirpin. Stolen by Kirpin. Ooh. No good, he misses a layup. Looking for a foul. He couldn't hit water if he fell out of a boat. Late. Thomas, easy laying. Brock Terry, looking to bring the Shamrocks Another back in this steal. game. Dunk one, Ianni. He lays it in instead, smart move. That is their 18th turnover of the game. Bad. Donahue. He's got Bates open in the corner. Instead, kick by Thomas. Anthony, what um, would you rather have pizza on Friday or grilled cheese? What do you think's the move there? I think grilled cheese. Grilled cheese for are you talking about lunch? Or yeah, I'm talking about lunch. Maybe a nice. I'd probably, do, I'd probably do a grilled cheese because we don't really have it much. Yeah. And the school pizza is not. I mean, it's like decent. Kerpin, another air ball. <laughs> Jeez. And they're clearing the bench. Yeah, except it's guys who've. Oh, played tonight. Come on, coach. We want to see Declan. We want to see Debo. Maybe not Michael Shea because he smells. And we want to see the sophomore Leo Soriano. Fabia crossing half court just as the clock gets over six minutes to go. Otero wide open. Posts up. No good. Short. Good shot, though. I mean, shoot or shoot. Donahue. Anthony, uh, what are you giving up for Lent? Um, nothing. How about you? I think I'm gonna give up uh, the classic eating sweets. I'd say it's like a classic I mean, to go to. Dude, old lady, like Jesus. Speaking of old lady, I'm pretty sure you were in the chapel at that seminar the other day, sipping your coffee, two creams, two sugars. I, mean, I knew you wanted some, so... Have, having a little cruller in your hands, wrapped up in a napkin. Take the bike away from your mouth. There's nothing wrong with some coffee for lunch. <laughs> Brock Terry, Jankowski for three, no good, it's long. Great board by Otero. Otero gives it to Fabio. Clay looking for the ball, asking for it. Clay's wide open. He's going to get it. Runs right through Bates. Bates thought he took a charge there. He did not. He got a block on him. Coach Jewell doing his job, wiping the floor, wiping the sweat, making sure no one gets hurt. Looks like Grizzly's about to clear the bench. Big number 44 coming in. Big Casey Starver, the senior. Casey Starver, the senior. We got Big Gabe Sanborn, the senior. We got Eli Wetter, the senior. Got small guard Dylan Peterson, the senior. It's a bunch of seniors, your last game. It's an all-senior lineup, Anthony. Way to use your head. It's your last game. I mean, why not give them some time? Shamrock get a bucket. Charles Pritchard and Peterson. The T3 the ball. It's a bold move coming right <laughs> off the bat, firing one up. Uh, <laughs> Otero, Favia, his turn for three. Yes, sir. <laughs> Shamrock lead is 41. <laughs> he throws up a shot. Peterson slips. Lost it. Clay and Otero bullying him as Hecker's finally going to get the steal. Declan O'Malley's coming in. Oh, wow, they're Jay's really good. Coming. Right the big five we just named are all going in for the Shamrocks. It's going to be an awkward offense. I mean, they do got Nano. A small lineup, you could say. Tallest man out there is 
Mike, Mike, Shea. Mike Shea on the sheet, it says he's 6'3". I walk past Mike Shea every day in the halls. He is not six foot on a good day. O'Malley in the corner. Into Debo. Debo, Shea, Soriano for three. No good. O'Malley couldn't get the rebound. Peterson. He's going to give it. Wetter's open. No good. Rebound 44. Casey Starver. No good. Soriano up the floor. O'Malley for three. Oh, no good. Off. Rebound Sanborn. Up the court is Peterson. 234 and ticking. In the corner. <laughs> He's going to jack another one up. Wetter no good. Nano running. His speed. East to west coast for the bucket. Anthony said they were on pace for 40. Let's see if they get it. Peterson. Starver. A oh, three pointer. Oh. Short. Rebound Soriano. Soriano up the floor. Had O'Malley. O'Malley, take that three pointer. Take the three pointer. No. Two minutes remaining. There's Diego. Put it up. Diego, put up a shot, man. This is probably the only time you're going to see in this playoff run. We love you. Nano. <laughs> Into Diego. Diego. Baseline move. Oh, there we go, Diego. That's what everybody wants to do. The crowd is going bizarre. We love Tebow. Poked away by Nano. But he's going to pick up a foul. Now we got to see Mike Shea with a bucket. We got the and one season right. Diego getting his name chanted. Big smile plastered across his face. There's a pass. Is in to Wetter. Wetter. Big man Starver looking to post up. Oh, big move. No good from Pritchard. Pritchard shot is rebounded by Soriano, who's going east to west. No good. Rebound by Shea. Oh, Couldn't make he it. smoked it. It's out to Diego. Diego pulled that three-pointer. Declan instead for three. Yes, sir. Come on, Declan. Come on. I said they're on pace for 80. There's no way the Samurai's take another shot. <laughs> there he is again. Uh, the Knights finally gets in a fall. The Knights answer. Eli Wetter going one for eight <laughs> in this three-minute scene. Nano. We need Michael Shea to get a bucket. Nano probably just going to kill this one out. Soriano. Nano playing keep away. Nano. O'Malley. O'Malley. Nano. Fans, it's going to be a great win for the Shamrocks. 77-32 is going to be the final score. We'll see you Friday. Thanks for tuning in, folks.